Okay, welcome everybody. Um, for this first video here, we're going to actually look at how we navigate within the online campus. When you first log in or when you first pull up your URL, which is has been posted, but you can see it up here, https colon forward slash forward slash aecm.forums.net. When you go to this location, you will then be given the chance to log in. Okay, we're going to log in. And it should remember your username because we've already set it up for you once. So you go ahead and log in. And now we're in the campus. So this is the first page of the campus. And this shows all our classrooms here. So we have SECA 100 is the first class, which is what we're taking here today. And then we have our project engineering classrooms. And we can kind of roll all this up so you can see how this works. So we have project engineering classrooms, management classrooms, scheduling classrooms, and we're building a three-year program. So you'll see the first year's agenda in the project engineering. Um, the uh, curriculum for the second and third year is being developed right now, and it'll be available probably in the next couple of months. But um, so now we're back to our course here. We're taking SECO 100, and this is week one. So we're going to go, this is about Sturgeon Electric. So we click on that, and we now see here where we have a discussion board, an individual assignment, and we have some information down here for you to go look at. So you can meet your instructors. Here's how we grade all the work that's being done in here. These are our standards for behavior within the campus. And all the different, if you're having problems with hardware and software and you want to perhaps use it on another computer, this will give you some detail on how to do that. And then netiquette, which is how we properly communicate in online academies and emails and everything else. That is included there. So we now go and in our discussion board, which is going to be on our Monday night classes, you'll see the this board will be what we'll talk about. And in this, we see we have a classroom material, and below that we have the actual board. So we'll go to the classroom materials so we can see what it is we're trying to do this week. Now, this is your first one at the very bottom will always be the assignment for that week. So we can click on that assignment and we can see right here, if we read through here, here's our assignment for that week. And what we are asking you to do is to write a two, or two paragraph or larger document that addresses the re these three specific items. And when you go back to your classroom materials, You'll see all of these videos and all of this material here will help you in developing your discussion board assignment. You know, and so it, it, mainly it's your research tools is what we're talking about here. So once you've done all your research and you've gone through that, and don't just stop with this research. If you want to, go out and look at other things. As we get into different subjects, there's so much data out there that this is just a place to get us started. We want to expand as far out as we can to fulfill your learning needs. So we're going to go back to the discussion board and we'll just go through the process here. Once we have studied all our materials and we've figured out what we think, how we're going to write those three items down in a little format, we're going to create a thread and we're going to say this is your week one and uh, assignment. Okay, and then you can enter the description right here. In some cases, you might want to say uh, intro. And then we'll type in a few words here. Okay, now this is where you would either cut and paste your, your um, discussion board um, write-up or you would write it right here directly. And then you just create that thread. 
And we're asking you to do this so that by Wednesday of each week, we'd like for you to go ahead and post to the discussion board. You don't have to put your name on it because the, the classroom already knows who you are. So you'll see what this one's by me. The next one will be by Joe, by Bill, or Kathy, or whoever. Now, what we're also asking is once you turn this in on Wednesday, go back and look at your other teammates' um, uh, submissions as well. And we're asking that you comment on at least two other people's assignment pieces so we can get some dialogue going, start talking with each other as far as good ideas, bad ideas. Some, sometimes you may need some help, and that's a good place to get it as well. So um, that is your discussion board assignment, and that's your first part of this week, right? Um, then we come down, and we also have an individual assignment. Now, the individual assignment is going to go a little bit further than what we did on the first discussion board assignment. And in here, we're going to see a lot more things. We're going to say goal setting, how we um, learn how to learn. There's a lot of good materials in here so that you can come and fill, uh, fulfill this individual assignment. And in this case, we're asking that you write a couple of paragraphs that describes your interest in the industry, how to achieve, how you would like to achieve that in your career, and how do you intend to fulfill your career dreams. So once you've re read all of this and you understand the Sturgeon Group, just sit down and, and do your best to say what you think you really feel about that assignment. And then you'll come back here in your classroom materials and we'll go back one more and we're at individual assignments and you'll do the same thing you'll create a thread here and you'll fill out your assignment the individual assignments are posted for you to um, individually look at and be able to deal with without all the student intervention so those are those are submitted personally to me as the instructor and that way, we, when you get graded, it's just a separate grade. Your grade will be uh, confidential to everybody else's so that everybody's performance will be based on both the discussion board and the individual assignment. So, and you can see that managing through this, which is the main reason for this video, is fairly easy. We see that we can hit this, we can come down and we can go to Welcome to Sturgeon Electric. Let's go to SECO 100. Okay, there we are. Now we go to week one. We're back here. And you can now see that if I want to, I can either hit this back key, go to the previous one, or I can negotiate or navigate to any place I want within it, right? So we can kind of see how this works for you um, throughout the process. And navigation should be something fairly simple for you to, to uh, understand and it's intuitive. So if you do have any questions from this point on, uh, please feel free to give me a call. Uh, we'll sit and work on it one-on-one -on -one or online or however we need to do it. So thank you very much and I hope this helps.